I've always had this fascination with transportation with cars since a little kid. And then I, I, you know, I grew up with the idea, these, these cars like the classic Ferraris and the Jaguars and these just really romantic sports car cars from the 60s and the, those just like are forever like stuck in my head there's just a classic simplicity and beauty to them um, there's an elegance to the craftsmanship and, the, and the, the kind of simplicity of design that has always been alluring to me I was um, working for my dad who's a product designer at the time and he had uh, an intern working for him and we were kind of shoulder to shoulder and he was from Art Center and he was an amazing illustrator. And I was just like, this guy, this is amazing. Like, where do you learn how to do that? Because, you know, I, I grew up in a design environment and could draw pretty well. This guy was next level. And I, I was like, I gotta go to this Art Center place. You could do it and you could really kick it up a notch to the next level and then um, Art Center, I, I grew up on the East Coast, Art Center is on the West Coast. And so I came out here after studying for a few years in um, product design at, at Syracuse and Art Center was just where you could have the design ideas as vehicles and get a job. Like designers always are, want to figure out the next thing. The next thing at Mazda was not as interesting and alluring as what Elon was selling. Um, but it was really like an all-in position and you know, everywhere else in the industry, you know, sustainability, which was important to me, um, was kind of a side thing. It was a side project, and if you could work it in, that, that's great. But it, nobody was really focused on it. And Elon was all in. It was like do or die. Like we do, we make it work, or we're not a company. And from that position, you do your best work, I think. And it was really kind of a, a bit of a clean sheet. And you know the challenge of a clean sheet is like where do you even start? Like I think of a, a writer who sits down to like write a book and you say, okay, go write a book. Where do I start? We were kind of in that place. But that the, there's something really exciting about that. Um, and I think you know from a like going in from a purely sustainable perspective, um, there like you you just can't find that in the automotive industry. You know one of the things that I found through my career which is frustrating is like the, the concepts that never see reality or if they do they're so distorted from what the real the thing that captivates everybody it's really frustrating like even to me I look at concepts from other companies I'm like wow that's really cool but I'll never get to really experience it. and so here we we think well if we can think of it why can't we actually do it and so our 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 vision is really around the prototype that is the kind of the stepping stone to the real concept. And the real concept is what you buy. And so I think that's and that's what our goal is to to work through conceptually the idea, make it real, and then improve it by the time we get it into production. So for from my perspective and from us, we I think all of the products that we've developed over time have gotten better with this kind of better over time idea from the from the initial idea to it going into production. So our, I think it's kind of the inverse of what a lot of other people in the industry do. Obviously, the we, we didn't have a library of things that we would draw on, so we're really starting fresh. Um, and the form factor was really unique. And the, the, the thing is, like in that time, the technology was so new that it was potentially scary, I think. Like, we saw a lot of upstarts that were just like crazy spaceships that people had a hard time relating to. So I think the idea was really about how do we make a product that people can feel really confident in, really comfortable with, that isn't necessarily screaming the technology underneath it, but just is better because of it. Um, and Model S kind of grew out of that it was challenging because we wanted to make a right-sized vehicle that held seven people. And so that, that was really challenging. But I think also the, the architecture of the way that the powertrain is established really enabled that. So I always in, talked about Model S as like we, we created this 
this kind of platform and the rest, everything above it was the opportunity space for us to do what we wanted with. And we tried to create this just beautiful object that no matter like if you knew it was electric or not, you would be attracted to it. And, and if you didn't know what it was and you were attracted to it, it was an opportunity for you to get, engage and, and become kind of converted. My philosophy is that anything can be designed beautifully. It's frustrating that a lot of things are not. How do we do um, a vehicle in an electric vehicle that's just a beautiful, about beautiful design? I do think that there's a, a, a a pretty consistent problem of over managing um, and I think the thing that we don't have here is this like big management system and, and layers and layers of decisions that happen you know we're pretty quick about uh, design and then a solution and um, and that's what we make because we we know it's great we don't get really caught up in kind of a brand identity or a brand feel like if it's the right thing it's the right thing it doesn't have to have like this thing that makes it, uh, you know, Nissan or whatever, like this visual identity that constrains the product. So we're always talking about like relieving constraints and just making the best thing. Every day is completely different. Um, our, our, our focus is just about making every, you know, all of the products and the ones that we're developing into the future as beautiful and great as possible. Um, but never really forgetting the ones that we've done in the past. And, you know, Model S is such a great car, even today. The, the car that, um, you know, we were just talking about this, the car that, that we built in 2012 is still the best electric vehicle. And it's still a beautiful product. And the improvements are such a radical improvement over what we produced uh, when we first launched the car. And the car is just so much better. And I think that's just about how do we get how do we get the best product to the customer always at, at that moment in time? And so we're just always looking at every detail consistently to see if we can make an improvement. We, we've improved so much about the interior um, and the seating comfort and materials and the color choices and, you know, a lot of details. And so, you know, that's a portion of, of just constantly looking at something and saying, how do we make it better? I think, you know, that interaction with the vehicle is always your first kind of moment. Um, and the Model S, it's such a, it was, it's such a pleasant experience. And, and in that moment, in that kind of time, you take yourself back to that time where electric cars were like this thing and you weren't really sure if they were going to be great or not. Your first moment approaching a Model S and this, it just welcomes you. Like, I think that's just warm, it's, it's a, a pleasant warming experience. And then the next product with the X, we said, let's have the doors just open for you. Like, as if um, there's a doorman there, like we can do that. So, and, and we did, and then you don't really need to necessarily touch the car at all. And so, yeah, we're constantly looking at like that engagement, you know, I think also the, the idea of the key and putting the key into an ignition to turn the thing on, like, we know when you're approaching the car, so the car's ready to go, and you literally just need to put it into the gear to go. There's none of this awkward kind of fumbling around with stuff. Um, and that's just about making a better overall experience. We're constantly trying to make a better, more fun, unique experience with our car. Each product is really specific to itself. Um, there is some familiarity with our, our appearance, but I think you know, we're constantly looking at how do we make each product better. And so I think each, each of our vehicles will never be constrained by something that we've done in the past. We may borrow things that like just are beautiful elements and try to improve on that, but we'll never look at a Tesla and say, well, it's gotta have this and it needs to do this and like, or it's not a Tesla. It's really about, you know, making a beautiful product right for what that product is intended to be. Um, so I think it's just, you know, we'll constantly be evolving. We saw issues with gull, gullwing doors that, that just didn't help us with our quest to get um, a better ingress, egress experience in Model X. And so we actually had to add an extra translation. The second hinge to be able to open the door in areas 
parking lots where you're confined, but still provide the access, the great access. That potentially, like, if you park a minivan next to another SUV and try to open the slider, you, you basically lock yourself. You can't get in. You wanted to eliminate that even so that um, you could open it in that same amount of space and still have access into the car from the back or the front and not have to run around and do gymnastics. And, it, and really provide the biggest opening space to get the best access and the easiest access. I think we were, we were just kicking around the idea and realized that we could make a structure that was um, really engineered well enough that we didn't need a front header anymore. Um, it's an idea that we've had on, on a variety of things that we were kicking around internally and it just seemed like we could we figured out how to do it and so we we did it and it's the the experience is so amazing it's so pleasant we couldn't not do it suddenly you get an opportunity to experience the world around you in a different way um, especially when you're in cities or you know uh, big sky space or with trees around or a lot of nature it's it's a it's a different kind of viewing experience